Today's video is going to be about everything you need to know to make your dog comfortable in the car. For some of you, your dogs may get sick or anxious while in the car. For others, you may have never put your dog in the car at all. Here are a few tips to help your dog feel comfortable. Some people may wish to teach their dog to jump up into the car. However, this can only be achieved once your dog is 100% comfortable. To get your dog into the car, for the smaller dogs, you may be able to pick them up and place them in the car. For the larger dogs, however, you may need to purchase a ramp, put the ramp on the car, and then encourage them up the ramp with a piece of food. You can and should use food to help your dog feel more comfortable in the car. You can achieve this by feeding them their dinner in the boot or the back seat where they normally travel in the car. This helps them to feel more relaxed as they are eating. Furthermore, you can use treats when you're actually trying to get them into the car or while they're in the back seat of the car to help them feel more happy and relaxed. The treat should be something that they enjoy and something that they don't normally get around the house. The reason that some dogs may get sick in the car is actually due to fear. It can be because they are unfamiliar with the car or the environment that they are in. Using scent is another great way to help relax your dog in the car. You can do this by putting an old unwashed piece of clothing from every member of the family in the car. You can put it in the back seat pockets of the front seat or under the bedding in the boot. This way, it will help the scent stay the same as it is in the house in the car and this will help to put your dog at ease. Driving short distances to start with is a great way to get your dog used to the motion of the car. Start with driving just up and down the street and work your way up to going then around the block. Slowly as time progresses and they get more used to the motion of the car, you'll be able to go for longer drives. If you are going to go for a long drive however, make sure you just take your dog to the bathroom before you go. Dogs are creatures of habit and routine. If they know the destination that you are traveling to, they may be more likely to be anxious or excited. This includes going to the vet or the beach. A good way to help limit your dog's anxiety or excitement about arriving at the destination is to change the route that you travel. A harness, while not recommended for walking and training purposes, is a great piece of equipment to tether your dog into a vehicle. In most places, it is illegal to have your dog in a car without being tethered. In the case of our dog Merlin, we use a lead in the boot. If you get into an accident when your dog is not tethered into the vehicle, your dog can become a projectile that can hurt you and your family. In this situation, some insurance companies can waive their right to insurance. If you have a ute that has an open tray on the back, it is required that you have two tethers on your dog that prevent them from going to either side of the back of the tray. Two short leads are recommended tethered to your dog and to the center of the back of the cab. If you know that your dog is 100% comfortable in the vehicle and they're still getting sick, it may be worth consulting your vet as this may be a medical issue. 